Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Today we will learn how to decorate a metal pail bucket or a pitcher. In general I am taking this metal pail to decorate. So you can use whatever you like. You can just take a glass or any kind of tumbler, any kind of cardboard materials which are cylindrical in shape or square in shape. That's up to you. But uh, I would actually love to decorate on this. Uh, this is a, a plain metal pitcher which I got from Target. I in fact decorated the two of them and this is the third piece. I would just show you those two now so that you will get an idea. This is the one uh, which I decorated previously and uh, this is uh, a yellow color one which I got it from Target and uh, I actually decorated uh, it like this and the other design uh, is this one. This is kind of bold and this is kind of uh, uh, cute and humble. So. Mm, these are two patterns which I thought it would look good and to decorate this I actually used acrylic colors so that is what we need to decorate it today as I told you acrylics are my favorite and uh, now we will decorate this black one so uh, going ahead with the project uh, the materials required are a picture or any decorative piece which you want to take and you will require a palette few brushes acrylic colors uh, in general what would I do is I would just take acrylic colors as of now I am using this uh, Daler Rowney acrylic colors and uh, I actually I am actually using this Flowcart metallic color and this is actually pearl white and uh, I will just uh, show you okay uh, probably you will not have a clear look of this one um, and uh, I will use this to give a kind of uh, metallic shine to the paint when I actually mix this with acrylics it gets a shiny color if you can observe it here on this uh, one you can actually uh, see the colors to be a bit shiny and this shine is uh, because of the acrylics which we used so now I am using them on this black one uh, I basically don't have any design on my mind for starting the project I am actually um, cleaning it with a tissue paper hope you guys can see this and uh, now on this I don't think I can give an outline so I am giving a random design and for this I actually mixed a metallic color this is kind of chocolate brown and shade uh, and I just want a color to complement this not contrast that is the reason I took this one I basically mixed brown and pearl white color to get the shade I mixed dark brown and pearl white color now uh, I just uh, I just want to give some random design I hope you are able to see this. Sometimes if a single shade is not enough, I would encourage you guys to give a second coat or shade on this one so that it would uh, uh, definitely give the look. I think I have to use uh, one or two more colors to give the right shade so I'll try to mix uh, kind of uh, a red with uh, metallic white or violet and then create a good shade so that this would look colorful but as of now this is the first color which is there on my mind so let me see while developing this uh, we can actually use uh, different colors I don't know how the product would be because I don't have any design on my mind I am just giving a random design on this one with coloring this and I gave a single color and designed it like this hope you, I hope you guys can see it 
so this is how I did and now I would try to um, give another color but uh, this uh, I mean I'm trying a copper color on this so I would just start it from here now I would just take a fabric outliner and just uh, fill here and there to give this a complete look and now I'm just uh, adding I'm just designing it like this and completing it now I'm done with uh, doing this completely and this is how it would look once it is done I hope you guys are able to look at it clearly so this is how the final product would look and uh, how would you use this pale would depend on your wishes I think I can simply use a brush fan like this else I can put some pens on that and uh, if uh, if I want I can just uh, put some uh, combs on this and use as a comb stand else uh, I think uh, we can actually take uh, one of these pails and add some water and then uh, we can use this to actually put some plants on it for instance I have a feng shui plant I would just place it in this and show you how would it look this is how it would look uh, when I want to mm. grow some plants on this actually I poured some water inside this pail and then I'm using this to grow a feng shui plant so uh, actually you guys can uh, uh, put some soil in this and grow a small little plants but be careful to make a hole then this would be a very good pot um, a decorative pot inside the home and then you can use it like this thanks for watching my video if you like you can just subscribe to my channel and thank you